The Star Wars universe has continually been one of the most vivid and exciting environments for players and game designers alike. This fall, LucasArts and Pandemic Studios emerged from hyperspace to present Star Wars Battlefront, one of the most epic and highly anticipated Star Wars-based games ever created. Star Wars Battlefront is a totally different type of Star Wars game. You're building your own Star Wars fantasy. You're picking your own characters. You can be a stormtrooper, a rebel pilot, a clone trooper, battle droid. Really, at the core of what this game is, is recreating the great battles. Any battle you've seen from any Star Wars movie will be in the game. You watched the movies for such a long time, now you get to actually play the battles in a whole new way. We've captured a command post. Star Wars Battlefront combines the best of first-person and third-person action games because you can play from both perspectives. In addition, gamers can choose from several modes of play, single player, the innovative multiplayer Galactic Conquest mode, and even online. In Galactic Conquest, what you do is you take on the role of one team or one side, for example, the Rebels, and you're trying to take over the whole galaxy and you move from planet to planet. One part you might be a Wookiee, and then the next part you might be a droid, and the next part you might be a stormtrooper. So you have just this huge volume of material to really build your own non-linear story. This is introducing a whole new kind of gameplay for Star Wars gamers with multiplayer combat. What really makes Galactic Conquest mode exciting is that it allows up to 16 players to engage in battles online, and up to 32 players over a local area network. Star Wars Battlefront is a great online game, and what makes it a blast is it gives you the ability to play your buddies uh, in these huge epic battles. You'll log on and you'll see a list of servers that are out there. Uh, you can also start your own server. If you want to play the Battle of Hoth, it's one way to play it single player, but it's a whole new experience when you play it with your friends. I think you're going to have a huge online community that's going to be building around this game. Gamers who don't want to go the multiplayer route can select single-player skirmish mode. We also have a very robust single-player mode. It's very pick-up-and-play. Campaign mode actually sets you up in a historical context of the Star Wars films where you can now fight, starting with the prequels, and fight your way through the Battle of Geonosis and then end up all the way to the Battle of Endor. That's called the historical campaign, and I think that's probably going to be the number one way people play this game from a single-player standpoint. Destroy the shield bunker. One thing that's sure to excite fans and players alike is that Battlefront will be the very first Star Wars game to feature playable worlds from all six chapters of the Star Wars saga, including a never-before-seen planet from Star Wars Episode Three. It's not just classic era, it's not just new, uh, but it's literally everything. It covers the totality of the Star Wars experience. We actually will have planets from all six Star Wars movies, including Episode Three. Those familiar with the iconic vehicles and weaponry in the Star Wars universe will marvel at the game's inclusion of an armada of Imperial AT-ATs, TIE Fighters, and speeder bikes, as well as the workhorses of the Rebel Alliance. We have over 20 different vehicles in Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, of course, we'll have an X-Wing, a uh, Y-Wing, TIE Fighter, TIE Bomber. Uh, we'll have the AT-AT, AT-ST, uh, speeder bike. So those are some of the classic vehicles. From the new movies, we'll have the Republic gunship, uh, some of the battle tanks, like the AAT. Battlefront players will be able to take on the role of up to four different character types among the Star Wars galaxy's four largest factions, Rebel Alliance, Clone Army, Imperial Army, and Droid Army. In addition to those four basic classes for each side, there are two special classes. For the Imperials, there is an Imperial Dark Trooper. He's a sort of a beefed up stormtrooper with a jetpack. Uh, for the battle droids, for example, there is a destroyer droid, or Droidica. He's a very interesting unit. I think that's something that we can only get uh, in a Star Wars game. One of the things that makes Rebels special are Wookiees. Everyone loves Wookiees, everyone loves Chewbacca. One of the characters you can play as, in the Rebels is as a Wookiee. When you're playing as a Wookiee, your uh, special ability is the ability to, um, uh, to repair you know, vehicles that are in the field. With infinite open-ended outcomes and the gamer's ability to always find a battle in progress online, the creative team behind the game has made replayability an integral factor in the game's design and appeal. This game is just jam-packed with replayability because there's no set outcome. You know, the way you play the game determines how the game's going to end. Destroy the shield bunker. You can play every campaign as a rebel and then go back and play as, a, as an imperial. And then in multiplayer, of course. I mean, that's where replayability really comes in. Uh, you can play this game for months and months and months on end, and you'll never repeat the exact same experience. We capture the command post.
With Episode 3, the highly anticipated final chapter in the Star Wars saga just around the corner, Star Wars Battlefront is sure to give gamers and fans alike the ultimate Star Wars experience. We've all watched the movies and seen the battles for a long time, but now it gives you a chance to kind of live the battles in a whole new way. There is a full, full experience in this game. Our reinforcements are being depleted. 